What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about Every Jim Lee Marvel Legends. And this is from the X Men Mutant Genesis time frame where we had the blue and the gold teams. So the gold team consisted of Jean Grey, Colossus, Storm, Bishop, Iceman, and Archangel, where the blue team consisted of Gambit, Beast, Psylocke. Wolverine, Cyclops, Rogue, and Jubilee. So first time we see a Jean Grey in this costume is in the Rocket Raccoon Build-A-Figure Wave. This was a rare figure back in the day, so a lot of people sought it out. So they, of course, remade it. Surprises with it. Gave it to us in a three-pack called the Love Triangle. And this was a fan channel exclusive. Came with a Wolverine with bone claws, unmasked head, masked head, uh, torn mask, all kinds of stuff. Cyclops came with a bomber jacket. And then Gene also came with two different head sculpts, one with a ponytail and one without. So next uh, figure is Professor X on his hover chair. He is, of course, part of these teams. This was a legendary Riders Wave, the Hasbro Marvel 80 Years um, box. So jumping back to way back when in the X-Men Classics Wave, Series 1, there's your Archangel and your Cyclops, both of them as this Jim Lee version. So here is the Archangel, first of all. And here's another version of the Archangel later on, had a different paint scheme on it. And then here's Archangel again. This was in the Hit Monkey Wave that Hasbro did. We did not have a build a figure piece. And then that was re released with another paint scheme and several different head sculpts as a GameStop exclusive. So then we jump over to the Toy Biz days. We had Beast. This is in Series 4. And then we had Beast again with a lab coat and glasses and a 5-pack. Toy Biz, of course. Jumping up to Hasbro again, we have the Beast in the Caliban Build-A-Figure Wave. You guys... A lot of you guys voted this as one of your favorites. Uh, I still, in my opinion, like the Toy Biz better. Uh, but there's just certain things about this that do make it better. Certain things about the Toy Biz that do make it better. So, my opinion, you guys can have yours in the comments. Jumping back to classics again. We talked about Archangel before. This time we got Storm in her white costume. Jumping over to the vintage wave Hasbro did for us. We got Storm again in her white costume. And in her black costume as a fan channel exclusive. Jumping back to Toy Biz. We have Colossus in Series 5. X-Men Classics Series 3. We had Colossus again. And then in the 80 years, we had a two-pack with Colossus and Juggernaut. Here is that same Toy Biz wave, and this time we have Gambit. This is Series 4 again. I love these bases they had back then of the Sentinel's uh, body. It's a hand this time. Gambit was also in that five pack. And then Gambit was also in the Caliban Builder Figure Wave. Much better. This is much improved. I love this jacket, this plastic versus the uh, material myself. And then we have Rogue. And, of course, they redid her in the Juggernaut Wave. Much needed. 
So in the Mojo way, we had Psylocke. And then she got re-released with two different variants in the Apocalypse Builder Figure Wave in Hasbro. So you had her with the black hair and with the purple hair. And then we got the Cyclops again I showed you here earlier. This is in the X-Men Classics, one of the very first series. Came again in the Warlock Build-A-Figure Wave. And then, like I said, with the Love Triangle, we have him with his bomber jacket on and a couple, three different head sculpts. So in the Toy Biz days, we had the brown costume Wolverine. This was in Series 6. Got another brown costume in the Juggernaut Wave. And then we got him again in the Vintage Wave 1. This time he had his mask down, or you could put him with the mask up. So back in Toy Biz again, we have Iceman in Series 8. Came with a really cool base. This time he froze the Sentinel Hand. In the Classic Series 3, he had Iceman in his Ice Sled. And then in the Vintage, we had another Iceman. Apocalypse Builder Figure Wave back in Toy Biz, you had Bishop. Of course, well, there is a variant with no hair, but I want to do the hair one. And then in the Sauron Builder Figure Wave, you had Bishop re released again. So here we have in the Caliban Wave again, Jubilee this time. And in the Toy Biz days, and this is going to be the only two villains I'm going to do, we have the Magneto in Series 3. Look at that Sentinel head as a base. He had him re-released again with his mouth open in the box set. You had a Toys R Us exclusive Jubilee Builder figure wave. Not a great sculpt. And then we had the three-pack Amazon exclusive with the Family Matters. This was 80 years as well. Came with two different head sculpts. And then another creation of Jim Lee, and the only reason I'm going to put this in here is because it is Jim Lee's creation, is Omega Red back in the Sentinel Builder Figure Wave. Toy Biz. And then again in the Sauron Builder Figure Wave in Hasbro. So here are all of the Genesis esque. Legends Loose. Thank you, Jim Lee, for all this work. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.